And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you see this message. I hope you guys are having a lovely day or evening. Um, I'm Queen of Scorpios bringing you some messages for Taurus for the month of July. I already pre-shuffled and I'm ready to go. But before I begin, I want to just say this, okay? The reading is not going to resonate with everybody. All right, it's gonna resonate with some people, and it's not gonna resonate resonate with some. Whatever you could get from this message, take it with you and make use of that. Okay, so let's move along. Again, um, for private readings, you can reach me at cindygo28 at gmail dot com, or um, you could come on below if you can reach me. You could come in below, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so let's get right into this reading. So the first thing I see is that a lot of tourists are making decisions. They, they are trying to decide within two people. I'm thinking this person is a Scorpio because I do see the death card which suggests that um, this Scorpio person is going through some kind of transformation. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And you're trying to make a decision between two people. I don't know if you're trying to make a decision between uh, a Scorpio and an air sign. Yep, or water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay? I see that this person is going through some kind of transformation. But I also see that you're moving away from this person. So you have the Six of Swords, which talks about you moving away. Or maybe you're relocating or trying to get a new job. Um, or moving away from someone, maybe a family member, maybe you're, maybe you're currently staying with a family member, you're trying to move to get your own place. Um, and I see some of you are holding so tight on your money or your emotional, your emotions, you're holding very tight on your emotions, you're holding very tight on your money, on your valuables, things that are valuable to you, you're holding them really tight. I don't know why maybe you feel like because um, this Scorpio person or Pisces person is being deceptive. Um, <clears throat> some of you are not using your intuition. There's somebody that's not telling you the truth. Um, maybe you feel like this Scorpio person or this water sign person is not telling you the truth about something. Just ask them. They will tell you if you just ask. Um, some of you, a lot of you, I keep seeing a lot of you putting up your guard up ready to go to war, ready for battle. Um, and you guys probably feel like you're winning this battle. Some of you are cutting people off out of your life. Um, you're not even trying to hear it. You're just cutting them right off. Um, I also see that some of you are trying to make a decision. You have a lot of choices because you do have the Seven of Cups here. And you have a lot of choices that you're trying to decide on. A lot of you, just be careful not to make the wrong choice. You want to go into it um, asserted. Um, you want to, what is the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for a word. You want to take your time to make this decision. You don't just want to rush it and just pick whatever. Make sure that whatever you, whoever you're picking or whatever job, relationship, whoever you're picking, that this person is the right person for you. You don't want to make the right decision and pick the wrong person and you, you start going through hell <laughs> right um i also see some of you are wishing for a happy home i'm um, having a wife or a husband with children a home um you want to have every everything um at your forefront i also see that some of you are dating some of you be going on dates um there's also a lot of gossip within whoever it is that you're talking talking to I see a lot of gossip around that. Maybe you and this person know those people that you're gossiping with. Or this could be at your job where they're gossiping about you. Or you're gossiping about someone else. And I also see um, you have children around you. There's a lot of children around you. I don't know if this is your children or your nieces and nephews. <clears throat> but there's a lot of children around you. Whoever you're dealing with has children. Um, I also see a blonde female or a blonde male um, that you're dealing with. Maybe this person changes their hair from like red to blonde. They change. They wear their hair in different colors, basically. Um, and she's younger. I do see that. I see a lot of you dating. Um, 
a lot of you are dating someone from your past someone from your past that has a brown hair you know that has a brown hair to the side with green eyes or maybe just have a brown hair with a part on the side to the side 